All right, Yolanda, thank you. Well, the Frontier Heritage Days has returned to South Georgia for the 36th year. Our special projects producer Tristan Clemens got a chance to experience firsthand the lessons participants can experience this weekend. That's right, I'm actually at uh, Camp Osborne and uh, I've decided to come out and roll my sleeves up to learn a little bit more about life in the late 1700s and the 1800s. The average kid is basically just going to go, wow. <laughs> because it's not something that you can, can go someplace easily and go see. Everyone at the event, the participants are all dressed in a pre-1840 outfit. Their camps are pre-1840 outfits. Uh, what you see is, is not modern. This is an opportunity for kids and parents alike to learn more about the nation's history and get more hands-on experience in a new trade. Visitors will see everything from blacksmithing, leather work, stone tools being used and made, cooking over a campfire, candle making, and so much more. The camp blacksmith Paul Harbor showed me some of the roles he has in the camp and the items he would have provided in the past. As a blacksmith, I make stuff. I, whether it's tools like, I don't know, pliers. Uh, whether it's decorative things, bells, tomahawks, knives. Uh, if it's made out of steel, we make it. The event costs $5 to enter per car, up to five people. That money benefits the Camp Osborne Boy Scouts. It's happening this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Reporting for WAOB, your hometown news source, I'm Tristan Clements.